Currently, the, tr the traditional method in the clinics is very subjective, meaning that the uh, subject, the patient walks in front of uh, the clinician, and based on pure observation of the clinician, the, the level of gait abnormality is quantified. So this is very subjective, meaning that different clinicians might uh, come up with different clinical score for the same patient. This device, I believe, would be very useful once it's refined in the clinical evaluation of gait in patients in the clinical setting. I believe it could be useful not only for multiple sclerosis patients, but also for patients with other neurological disorders such as Parkinson's disease, neuropathies, myopathies, stroke, and it may also be useful for musculoskeletal disorders. Alors les retombées euh, ou les, 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 les améliorations qu'on pourrait voir avec l'étude sur le, le débit de marche, ça va pouvoir aider les gens peut-être, espérons-le, de pouvoir marcher, de mieux marcher, d'avoir plus d'endurance pour marcher plus loin et ça ouvre un, un petit peu les, euh, les possibilités de participation à différentes choses. Euh, si on marche 200 mètres, et on peut maintenant marcher 500 mètres et si on, euh, on peut passer un kilomètre, ça va changer un petit peu la perspective des gens.